Hi, Dr. Bonner speaking. Uh, here again, a uh, case of uh, periodontal disease, stage 2 periodontal disease, 6 mm pockets on the uh, posterior teeth. Um, here we have a low power magnification. We can see the activity and some parasites in the middle. And then the 1000 magnification. Here is 1000, so you see those little amoeba and a lot of activity of the bacteria back to dark field 100 magnification and then we settle somewhere where there's a lot of uh, actinomyces formation uh, border of the biofilm here we go back to 1000 so we are here in the nest of the periodontal disease uh, here are a lot of bacteria looking like uh, small bacteria small active uh, Mortal bacteria, a lot of actinomyces formation, some uh, bacilli, some uh, vibrios, a lot of activity. Uh, one little um, trichomonas in the center of this biofilm and a couple of amoeba uh, on the lower left, a minute amoeba. So you see the formation, typical, a lot of uh, nucleus of white cell, maybe some dead parasite. So we can see those little uh, round circles. So some rest of parasite, dead parasite, and some um, uh, dead um, nucleus of a white cell. Here an amoeba in the center, actinomyces formation with a lot of bacteria. So this is well-organized biofilm, uh, pathogen biofilm, of course, where we have this bone loss. Here again, a three little amoeba, one uh, and a, a, another one, small one. So they look like what I call minute amoeba. They're just like little babies. Uh, we are like in the nest here. Uh, a lot of motile bacteria, little motile bacteria. Uh, again, much activity. Uh, some dead, uh, a couple of dead amoeba here. The, the membrane is broken, so you see uh, it's more difficult to see the amoeba, but still you can recognize with the nucleus. Here again, a lot of uh, formation of actinomyces. You see the movement of the spirochetes within those. Uh, this is uh, in the center. You have this little minuta. See a couple of them, little baby minuta formation. This is babies. Uh, yes, uh, they'll get bigger. We'll find some more later. But now we we just look in the biofilm, looking for what is the worst area. Some food debris. Uh, always a lot of bacteria. Actinomyces formation. Uh, always some little baby uh, minuta amoeba here again, here again also. So a lot of uh, well-organized uh, things in this pathogen biofilm. So it is clear that the patient has a uh, periodontal disease localized to those uh, posterior teeth. It's a young uh, adult, uh, about 37 uh, years old with uh, good uh, habits, poor sport, uh, you know, well, uh, well person, wellness person, but still there. Are here, amoeba in the middle. Uh, here again, some amoeba, small ones, most of them in this area. A dead one in the center, probably here. Spirochetes again and vibrios. Sparakeets, vibrios, lots of activity, lots of activity here again. So it's still the uh, same uh, pathogen biofilm. Some formation, uh, this looks like a Gardnerella a little bit, so we're not sure absolutely, but it could be Gardnerella. Here typical in this biofilm, parakeets and uh, trichomonas, so... Uh, most of them, we believe, they're ten x. Uh, we don't know. Maybe it could be vaginalis. The we sh we would have to do the study whether it is trichomonas or vaginalis. But anyway, nobody wants those uh, trichomonas, uh, of course, and uh, their biofilm. Um, patient have uh, twenty two percent of patient with periodontal disease. Like one on five 
have those three comonas in their uh, pocket. So uh, it doesn't look good when you see the three comonas. Uh, always a lot of spy kids with much uh, activity. So uh, this is typical of uh, periodontal disease. Uh, a lot of activity, a lot of motile bacteria, actinomyces formation, and um, bacilli, trichomonas, and uh, amoeba, some babies amoeba. But later we'll see some uh, adult uh, antamoeba. So these trichomonas look at the four flagella uh, going everywhere. So the seem they feed on uh, whatever they they try to uh, put into their mouth so they have a little uh, upper and lower maxillary on those uh, trichomonas here again another one uh, a little more round trichomonas but uh, whoever have those look at those they really they don't want to keep them and uh, i i think they are right thinking this is bad uh, parasite for their health and bad parasite for their uh, uh, gum uh, and bone, um, you know, they, 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 they don't want to keep those, absolutely. But you have to look at those. Uh, if you don't look, we have never look, you think you have this genetic disease, but uh, it doesn't look like it. On the right of this trichomonas, it looks a little bit like a um, dead amoeba. So we see uh, many vesicles around, so it could be a dead amoeba, but we're not sure. But in the middle here, we are absolutely, absolutely sure it's a trichomonas uh, going around uh, in this uh, disease. So here again, continuing on this uh, by same biofilm, see three uh, uh, PMN looks like. Um, it really looks like um, neutrophil with uh, three lobe nucleus. We clearly see the granules inside moving. On the right one, uh, you see the amoeba on top of it. So now we get into uh, the more inflammatory uh, sector, more inflammation area of the biofilm. So we still see those uh, motile bacilli going uh, left and right, you know, like uh, rods. And we clearly see the um, neutrophil here in activity. So you have many of them here, uh, six, seven uh, um, white cells are present. Uh, here again, we have this trichomonas again in the middle, and we have a, uh, on the upper right neutrophil with granules and three lobe uh, nucleus. So we clearly see the activity of the spirochetes, clearly see the bacilli. Um, Porphyromonas would be more difficult to see because it's a small bacteria, one micron, less than one micron. So for uh, to show Porphyromonas, we do the uh, PCR test and then we have uh, bacilli, bacteroides, uh, whatever, and spirochetes. And those uh, protos are there that are typically uh, present in the periodontal disease. So here again, very round trichomonas. So, of course, for patient, if patient listen to this, you don't want to keep those. Absolutely, those are bad for you. Absolutely, they've been they've been declared a pathogen in uh, 2015 by Dr. Ribeiro. Here again, you have one, two, three, three comonas in the same area, uh, many white blood cells, some broken one on the lower right, a nice uh, white blood cell on the left, middle left. You see those three, three comonas, very agitated here, uh, going around with uh, bacilli everywhere. Uh, on top, some other uh, with bigger granules, a uh, white cell. Those three, three commonas again. See this upper um, white cell with bigger granules. Maybe it it's, could be monocyte on the upper top, but still we have to, to confirm this. But it looks like a uh, monocyte on the top and the other one with uh, on the right of it, the little granules look more like a uh, neutrophil, typical neutrophil. So here those three, three commonas again. Yes, so uh, 
If you have time to get on the biofilm and pass some time, you'll see many different areas. Some area with the filament actinomyces, some area with white cell, some area with the uh, trichomonas, some area with the uh, antamoeba gingivalis. So it just depends. If you have some time, take some time to look at the biofilm. The easiest way is to go back to one, uh, 100 magnification. You find an area where you have a lot of activity or a lot of white cell. If you want to see the parasites, you have to go where you see the white cell because most of them, uh, they will feed on the white cell. They would feed on the cell. So uh, you'll find the trichomonas and the amoeba close to the white cell. Here again, nice big uh, trichomonas in the center of the film. So patient uh, was treated, uh, this patient was treated about six years ago and uh, she said that she was going better and now it's going bad uh, again so it's like um, it really goes with the biofilm okay so here again trichomonas in the center so we change a little area then we see the amoeba antamoeba gingivalis in the center So we have this um, we have this amoeba, big amoeba, like about sixty micron, um, fifty sixty micron in um, in wideness. Uh, you have the typical uh, nucleus in the center, but so many uh, white cell here, <clears throat> an amoeba with many vacuoles in the center. You see the nucleus. You see the pseudopod forming on the upper uh, left part. Still uh, uh, many, one, two, three, four, five, uh, neutrophil with the granule dancing uh, within uh, them. Always the bacilla going all the way. Always the trichom uh, trichomonas again and spirochetes. So it's a mix of all those things that we believe does, does the... Um, does the disease um, here at right an amoeba which is like dead its membrane has ruptured so uh, but we still can recognize this mass formation of about 50 to 60 micron many white cells again with the nucleus uh, big uh, trichomonas in the center now we have uh, uh, macrophages so those big cells with large nucleus with two dots in the middle are uh, the nucleus of uh, macrophage so we have one two three four probably macrophage some rest of macrophage uh, uh, they look maybe they're dead, they have ruptured, but still we can recognize with the nucleus. So large nucleus, about 12 microns, with two big dots in the, in the middle of them is macrophage. Now macrophage to the right, amoeba in the center with the nucleus, typical for micronucleus, a lot of uh, little bacterial activity on the right um this i couldn't say they look like a small uh, rods but uh, which are they are the porphyromonas maybe those may look like porphyromonas very uh, little um, little small bacteria one two micron here again amoeba in the center many uh, white cell macrophages again and an amoeba again with this uh, looks like the same one um, some white cell, trichomonas again in the center, ghost cell lower to the trichomonas. So this ghost cell looks like a PMN that has lost its power and its nucleus to the amoeba because the amoeba feeds on the nucleus. So you see uh, many uh, sometimes white cells that have no nucleus. It's just that the amoeba went... Uh, close to them, they just eat in the nucleus and left the, um, the white cell without uh, rupturing the membrane. And uh, you see this ghost cell is typical also of gum active disease. So the trichomonas on the left, very active. Here again, many uh, white cells. So here we are in the 
in the center of the inflammation with a lot of white cell, the amoeba, many, many white cells. So here we are in the inflammation area. So it may be different. In the center looks like an amoeba with four dots. So sometimes it may be, uh, it may be, uh, look, looks like uh, Adolimax nana, but uh, with this we have to confirm, but it's sometimes we see them, rarely, but sometimes. Uh, other here, uh, three amoeba. Well, big uh, amoeba, clearly. Uh, in uh, It's not much active. It depends on the, um, the biofilm in general. It could be uh, more active, but sometimes they do like some uh, sleeping. But still, you can recognize the amoeba, three big amoeba here with those little vacuoles uh, inside. Always a lot of white cell around. Here again, one amoeba in the center, one on the upper left. Uh, you see the, um, the, um, the cell of the amoeba is like grayish, uh, very nice with no uh, dots inside. So trichomonas, uh, big trichomonas in the center here. Um, the problem, uh, many uh, neutrophil, a little uh, area looks like a mac small macrophage on the top right uh, left of the neutrophil larger uh, nucleus uh, still um, clearly citricomonas with the four flagella on the left and lower part uh, that feeds on the, whatever they, they they find something uh, clearly those many many white cell so this is inflammation this is bacilla uh, lots of sparicates. So again, if you want to cure this disease, it is uh, feasible, of course, but we have to remove all this. So no amoeba, no white cell, like here, it's full of white cell. Uh, probably the biofilm is a little uh, tired here because we've been looking at it for 20 minutes. But still, uh, you see the activity of the bacteria, activity of the white cell. Uh, presence of the amoeba again, uh, little trichomonas uh, on the left uh, side agitating his um, its uh, member, its um, uh, mechanism of uh, movement here, uh, amoeba in the center. So this patient has to be treated. Remove all this and go back to, if you want to cure the disease, you can. But you have to remove all this and find a um, health biofilm, which would be little cocci, little filaments, no motile bacteria, or less than 1% spirochete, less percent than one. See this back to the 100 magnification, you can see the amoeba. So this is how you find the amoeba. See in the center, you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six amoeba. So this is how you find them, how you find the white cell and then back to 100 magnification. So thank you for listening and good health to patients without those uh, bad pathogen bacteria. Thank you.